Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Brian Devine here, here with you getting ready to do another cusp reading. That's right. Before I get into that, Devine's thank you. That's my loyal subscribers. Appreciate your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. I love it. News. That's you, brand new to the channel. Come on in. Grab yourself some coffee. Let's get into your reading. So, we did the Sagittarius Capricorn reading this morning, so now we're going to go ahead with the Capricorn Aquarius. So, if your birthday was January 16th through the 23rd, you, my friends, are part of the cusp of mystery. It says it right here. All right. So, hope you all prepared. Got your stock and stuffers. Got your tape. Got to run out. Got a few extra presents. Yeah. Good luck with that. Anyways, so, noobs, this is what I do. I'll lay two cards out to tell you your, your story. And that the story is your energy, right? That's to collect the balance of your duality. Your yin and your yang, your positive, negative, light and bad, good and dark sides, right? We get it, right? Then I will lay more cards out to tell you a story. And within that story will be your message. Once I relay your message, I will give you uh, two more cards to close out your energy. For the duality of yourself in this moment. Not in the past, not in the future, in this moment. So I'll lay those cards out and that'll be your verdict, your story, your outcome, and then go run to the zoo and go get all your tape and all the stuff that you missed and go procrastinate and get the last minute presents that you got to wrap. Okay, so got it? Good. Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Fan. I love it. Drink your coffee or your water or your tea, whatever you're drinking. Because we want to get into your reading right now. So here's your first card of your energy. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Slow and steady wins the race. Right. So you're building your stability. You're planting the roots. You're t taking this action. Because knights are about taking action pentacles is your stability it's your earthly round shit it's your money it's your car your job your bills all that stuff this is what you're doing this is the energy you're in now okay so here we go that's your next card oh seven of cups well You're a little mixed up, having some mixed emotions. You're not sure if you should stay on this pace. Yeah, you're a little off. Maybe you have a bunch of options, okay? It could be that too. We're gonna find out once we pull your first card here and get to see what's what this is all about. All right, so let's see what we got for you. King of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. This is what you're aspiring to get to is the King of Pentacles, your ultimate stability, being on top of your shit, running your empire, having that solid foundation and those roots playing deep, right? Mm. This is this is the confusion. This is the this is the where the hell is this? I'm not there yet. Patience, my friends. Patience. Okay. But, I mean, you are... You want to be very stable, grounded, you know, on top of all your finances and shit like that. We'll see. We'll see. Let me get another card. Four Swords, you've been praying, you've been meditating, you've been relaxing, you've been chilling, you've been going on this slow and steady route, but uh, maybe you're just having mixed emotions because you don't, you're, you, there's too many options, and you don't know which one to get on. Ring a ding 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 ling ling, still ring 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 ring. 
pow. Well, Five of Swords comes out. Oh, Five of Swords, you maybe a little defensive. You're on guard. I think you're on guard because there are plenty of options and you just don't know why you're in this resting period. The slow and steady. With the aspirations of wanting to be the King of Pentacles, I could see where a little bit of this is, uh, you know, making you feel this way. Like, you know. But this is where you need to go. Have a little temperance. Have a little peace, harmony, balance in your life. You need to balance this out in a way where you're not overloaded or confused in your emotions about so many different options that are on your path. But taking that slow and steady approach is where you're at and you're trying to get to this King of Pentacles but it's just taking too long and it's just so chill and it just doesn't seem like it's fast enough. Leading you to be a little guarded, a little defensive like, I don't know. But finding temperance is where you have to be. You have to have the balance of mixing your emotions and your passions together. So your drive and the way that you feel about things, your drive, the way you feel about things, is where you need to go with the temperance. That's your clarity. There's the world card. So this cycle is going to end and a new one is going to begin for you. Okay. And the clarity also is this with the, the options of the Seven of Cups and then you're having this, this world card. That cycle is ending. Okay, this is exciting. Yes, very much so exciting. Let's get to the point. The point is what is after this cycle. Well, the cycle is justice. Justice for you, my friends, is here. Okay. So... Justice being called on this kind of slow and steady. Maybe the pace picks up. I don't know. We're about to find this out and see where this all takes us. It's going to take us to the Seven of Wands, right? So what this tells me here is that you, my friends, can overcome this. You have the ability to set the standard. You have the ability to set in motion how fast you want this to go to dictate the pace you can set that or now you're setting it okay you're like overcoming and taking charge right mm, to not be left out in the cold this is where you feel this angst over here with the mixed emotions of too many options and everything's just going so slow but steady's for you. Because you want to achieve this King of Pentacles and you're wondering why the hell it's just, it's just like almost not dead but just asleep. It's just so slow. It's so chill. It's just slow and steady. Pissing you off a little bit. Making you try to find this balance between your passions and your emotions to now having this cycle and for justice for you to set your own standard. You set the standard. And you're setting the standard to not be left out in the cold because the definition of this card is being left out in the cold. But fives are about change. So you're gonna change your own stability. Pentacles, like I said, is about your stability. Fives are changes. Let's keep going with this. Mmm. Right. Let me sip. Next card is this. King of Cups, because this is you. You're the King of Cups. Gaining complete emotional attainment. Like you are getting to be on top of your emotions completely. You're taking charge of that shit. You are being now the authority with love though, of course. To set your own tempo, your own pace. 
and getting you out of this Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups to the King of Cups. You've graduated, so congratulations. A little bit of that temperance did work for you to let you get this cycle to change, to see the justice that you really can set the boundaries. You could set the tempo. Not leaving yourself out in the cold because you have much to offer, right? Lover's card. Wow, where did that come from? Hmm. Wow. Lover's card. This is your divine power partner, your counterpart, your twin flame soulmate, whatever you want to say, your your chosen other half. seeing a little different of the story now. I'm seeing like this King of Pentacles could possibly like be a Taurus energy. I'm not really sure. It looks like you're just kind of doing your thing. You got some options. You know, you're mixed emotions about totally all of this. There's a lot in those cups. And so maybe now this King of Pentacles pops up all chill, all relaxed, leaving you a little guarded defensive about trying to balance this of where the hell this came from out of nowhere the cycle ends or begins for this cloudiness in your emotions of just slow and steady wins the race to now seeing the justice in the cycle ending meaning you're getting this temperance and balance of this this king of pentacles person that comes in just chill and leaves you defensive but once you get this temperance the cycle changes you see the justice in this and now you can come above the rest you can set the bar high you can um, take on challenges that normally would let let um, normally would have left you out in the cold if you didn't get this temperance and you would have stayed in this defensive mode towards this very chill um peace like coming in for um king of pentacles slash taurus maybe i don't know i just see taurus because i see the bowl here the bowl down here on the thing right and instead of you being all defensive on guard uh ready to overcome some obstacles getting ready to feel left out in the cold no you actually manifest yourself into this king of cups energy instead of the defense because see it's underneath the five of swords so the king of cups the five of swords you have transmuted yourself in the way through this temperance to allow yourself for this king of pentacles to think now differently about you not being defensive and ready to take on some shit setting the bar for yourself thinking you'll be left on the cold but they see you as this king of this king of cups now and as your lover as your divine counterpart th th there's like clarity here wow well they want to work together they want to they want to work together they want to collaborate and explore some some shit like some some stability whether that's in conversation or that's actual you know physical one-on-one -on -one, i'm not really sure it's not saying that but this is what okay 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 i get it let's get to the let's get to the ending because this is your final card of the story and then we're going to get to your outcome Wow, a little bit, of, a little bit of twists and turns in here. Okay, well, with the Three of Pentacles is like I said, exploring the uh, opportunities, avenues with this person about stability, whether it's communication, live hands-on. Uh, but this puts a completion to those burdens. Ten of Wands, burdens, obstacles, challenges, things that have been really weighing you down. Now with a ten. And it's completions, wants is your passion, fire, all the shit. Now you are releasing that. 
with this mm. King of Pentacles person. Here comes your outcome, people. Here's your verdict. Two cards. There's one. Queen of Wands. Boom. Okay. So now you are looking like the Queen of Wands. So you're very, this is my sassy pants card, but you're very intelligent. You are grounded. You're stable. Very, very intellectual. And fire. You're passionate. Right? This is what it turns you into, this energy, the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow, family, marriage, union, celebration, collaboration, all this together with this Four of Wands. Wow. This is kind of crazy. From going to just your own pace, slow and steady, seeing what the options are out there, but having mixed emotions about even pursuing that shit. Bam. Here comes the King of Pentacles. They come in very chill, very stable, very... Um, on top of their shit, they come in with some very stable conversation. Because fours are about stability, swords is your mind and your communication. So this King of Pentacles is communicating to you that makes you kind of defensive and needing to have temperance, balancing your emotions of where this all came from. That cycle now changes for you to get justice easing your burdens of this being defensive because they come in stable. Having set the bar now to overcome this challenge of being defensive and guarded and now changing the stability of your emotions and how you might have felt that you were going to be left out in the cold really when you get this temperance, it puts you in this King of Cups energy. This King of Cups is loving and giving you. Mm, very much on top of their emotions. Because they recognize you as the divine counterpart. And they want to explore avenues and adventures with you. Releasing those burdens and those wands that you're previously caring for you now to be the queen of wands and sitting high on your throne, ready for family, marriage, happiness. Wow. That has been your reading. That is just craziness, but it's for somebody. So. That being said, I appreciate your time, your energy, your likes. If you haven't liked yet, please do so now. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. I really enjoyed taking the time to give you these messages because uh, I don't want to sit with them all day. I got to tell whoever they're meant for, and that's for you. So, appreciate your time. Noobs, subscribe, become part of the Divine Fan. Really appreciate it. I love it. And, uh, Careful of those scissors and those paper cuts and shit. And um, enjoy yourself. Peace and pray. Have a good day.